Welcome back, everybody, to Frenemies number three. They said we wouldn't even make it past the first episode, and here we are, three episodes deep. No end in sight yet. Not yet, but I did. I was saying this past weekend that it might be because what you guys were already kind of annoying me this weekend, and I'm like, honestly, I think Why? either break up with you guys or snap on you guys. One of the two will come eventually, but so far, so good. Oh, well, well hold on. First of all, <laughs> we have a sponsor. Thank you to Adam and Eve. Um, why? What did I do this weekend? I didn't even talk to you. Literally, you at midnight texting, get a COVID test before Monday. And then right when I wake up, Ela being like, oh, go to this place. It's only 15 minutes. And then I'm like, okay. But then Moses, like, with his nose test, he's like, oh, we got to do the throat. It was just overwhelming. Oh, that's only 15 minutes. And you can go here. And I was just like, this is so overwhelming. Just be like, hey, get a COVID test. But then last night at midnight, right. you text me and you're like, what should we talk about tomorrow? I'm like, it's midnight. Like, I'm in bed. Like, it's just, you're just a lot. Like, you always text a lot. You are so dramatic. If I could, <laughs> let me get my phone. And the WhatsApp you wait, 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 wait. You literally are saying, I'm going to break. I'm going to end the show. <laughs> let me read the text that I actually sent you. Just just to compare your version of reality to what actually happened. Let's see. I said, hmm. Let's first of all, I just I want to get this on the record. <laughs> you did okay? I'm text I'm finding it too. Yeah. Okay. It's it's all of it. We're in a separate WhatsApp, you and me. No, and there's a friend of me is WhatsApp. No, no, no. There's... This is the only one I talked to you about. And no. I said I said at ten oh four PM. Ten oh four on a Friday night. You mean Sunday? Oh, well, okay. I, I'm, well I'm, I'm working to prepare the show no, so that it's actually Friday, entertaining. Friday at 1019. Why are you texting me? And then, he, and then what, let, let me tell you what happened before. <laughs> let me explain the oh reality. I God. said, all I said was, Trisha, anything you want to talk about tomorrow? Anything on your mind? At 10.04 p.m. <laughs> you said, I'm never sure until we start <laughs> laughing, crying emoji. <laughs> I said, no worries. I got some stuff planned. I just figured I'd ask. See you tomorrow. That was okay, the entirety this is, this of the conversation. Friday. Trisha, <clears throat> you might testing after that music video before Monday. And I was like, and before I could even. Hold wait. on, hold on. You're giving it this franticness <laughs> that's not there. You guys were frantic because I'm like, yep, we tested it's, everyone. I sent the screenshots of ev all the tests we got from dancers. <laughs> Anyways, I'm like, there's a place we'll go to 10 to 1. I'll go today, blah, blah, blah. <clears> they don't film anything. And then Ela, 901. So before like we're even like awake and everything, if you try Urgent Med, they give results in 15 minutes. There's one in Beverly Hills. Last time we, da, 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 we're the only ones there. The test is called the antigen. And then I'm like, is it nose or throat? So nose. I said, okay, well, we can't go there because we can't do the nose. Then it, and then it's like whatever you prefer. And then you're like, thank you. And then it's like, then I had to send the test. Why results. are you you why are you like having a panic attack? <laughs> Guys, every this day isn't our I'm fault. Like, okay, but then like in the solo <laughs> one, and then the day that the podcast posts, I mean, I love it. And I thank you for sending me all the things, but we're going back and forth so much. Like, you know what I mean? The day of, like, it's just so you're much. You're saying you don't like talking to me? Oh, and then Oh, this is what oh, this is what the annoying thing was. On the frenemies one and solo, you were trying to ask me who the Disney Soda Fountain story was about, and you asked me twice. I was just fucking around. Um, and I but I ignored you both times. And then in the separate one, you're like, okay, we'll do this, whatever. We're talking about something totally different. And then you're like, okay, but tell me, who was the person second time asking me? That? I was just fucking around. I was just oh chatting God. with a friend. I mean, you're not friends. We're not friends like that. Okay, sorry. No, and you weren't studying with a friend. And by the way, you, oh my God. You're being so. And I was like, oh my God. And then with Moses' family, just everyone coming at me. And now your family apparently hates me. Everyone's families hate me. And I'm like, you know what? This isn't working. There's too many. There's just too many. Okay, let's break. Let's slow down. <sighs> let's catch your breath. I should have taken the Xanax today. And deconstruct. First of all, can you throw, show a profile shot? Because everybody was noticing that you're. <laughs> Like, I guess you have extensions, so it looks no, like you're- No, it's a wig underneath. Feel it. Oh, it is? Feel it. Go like that. Oh, shit. So so it just adds volume back here? Yeah, it's like a brat style. Oh. Today, my look is brats. It's not Halloween. We're preparing for Halloween. Wait. That's the other annoying thing, can I just say. Try- Okay, I announced last week, okay, we're new fun Halloween costumes. Literally, right away. Okay, we need to coordinate. And then I'm like throwing out ideas, and then you're like, not those ideas. This I'm like, you know what? Let oh, me just my. go with my costumes that I wanted- because I didn't think you were going to dress up anyways. I'm down for the last idea. But I was trying to throw ideas. You're like, not that, not that. It's do this, it's this. I'm like, never mind. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to come dress how I want to Do you want me to dress. read those conversations? No, because that'd take up the whole like, episode. No, it was like three lines. You're like, do you want to go as Howard Stern and Anna Nicole Smith? No, I gave you many options. I said favorite Jew. And you did not like that one. I was like, Trisha, let's favorite not horror. go as our favorite Jew. <laughs> I I'm not trying to lean into that. I have 
so many. I either want to be Eugene Levy or Adam Sandler. Unlike you, I'm not trying to lean into this weird Jew fetishism. Okay, we're over the Jew talk. But then, favorite horror movie character I thought was a good one. Me too. You said no to all three except the one Ela said, which is a good idea. Ela oh had a great God. idea, and I like love that idea, and I'm excited to do that. Totally, I'll, I'll sacrifice one of my costumes. But I've been preparing for this since August. I'm in. And I'm like, down. Throw my cost. That's why I was like trying to figure out overall genres that I can still wear the costumes I had prepared. All right, let me read the conversation. No, no, no. Look, because it's because, so because it's long. not like it's not. It's like it's start not what you said. No, you're gonna start from me being a manic manic person. You guys were like manic. Yeah, because you were like, okay, we're about to film. And mind you, this was the day before my music video. So before my music video, I am doing the fucking most. I'm you fasting, seem, so I'm hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just slow down. You seem really ca caustic today. What's caustic? You just seem like super like <laughs> explosive today. You got me really excited about Disneyland, honestly, earlier. But that's a whole different story. And I had a dream about you last night, but it was about gay sex because you've been doing so many duets with like hot guys on TikTok. We we're going to talk about this, but I didn't. And I was just thinking about this last night. I just had such a vivid dream of you like getting banged by two guys. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so awkward because I was coming today. Like, it's so weird. I never dream about you. I don't even think about you like outside Dude, of Dude, you are way crazy today. <laughs> you are like crazier than normal today. I, I had a slushie and a coffee and Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Chocolate holes, the munchkins, which Moses spit back out. So anyway, I want to talk about your hair, though, because it gives you these really long extensions, but it looks like your head is shaped like a fishbowl or something. It's a breast, though. Oh, I don't care. You like how it makes your head look prolonged? Yeah, because it makes me look skinnier. It makes it look like you had, like, a birth defect or something. <laughs> Okay. It makes me look tiny. Look how tiny I look on the side. I'm so skinny. Okay. Last time I looked huge. I looked like I was so close to the camera. I looked like your size. I was like, oh my God, I'm not that big. But also, you're like kind of skinny. 226. Why? Yeah, I'm down to, I'm blue. I'm working on it. What? You, that's like, that's literally what I weigh. That's why I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, but I'm like four inches taller than you or something. But you look bigger than me, but you're not. How hmm. is that possible? I'm four inches taller. And but I, that means you should look But you weigh skinnier. the same? Yeah, that's, well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's, yeah, not good. that's not good for you. But you weigh 220? Oh, well, no, I think I'm like 200, but yeah, I'm like 200 for sure. Shit. <laughs> First of all, thank you for saying that boobs. <laughs> I weighed my boobs one time on a grocery scale and they were 30 pounds. So I really you do. You did that? I swear. Do they are 30 pain? pounds all the time. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah that's, that's why you got to like take the Vicodin and stuff. That was a whole different conversation. But, but um, so, but so when you're going to get your, what, what happened? <laughs> When you go to get your boobs done, is do they have more lightweight material maybe? Yeah, I'm going to try and get them done again. I think you could get like the gummy bears are lighter right now. Mine's silicone. Mm. So let's talk about the family drama. <clears throat> First of all, let's start light. Let's talk with my family, about my family. <laughs> I didn't know this until this morning that well, your family had a problem with me. <laughs> no, no, no. They don't. They was it, they were bitching at me because they're like, we worked super hard on the dinner and you guys were saying it was shit. <laughs> were they offended for real? What? Well, I ne I didn't think so, but but like I was like, dude, we always joke about how our dinners <laughs> suck and like our Yom Kippur's are like half ass. Wait, so Yom Kippur is fasting though. Or Rosh Hashanah, sorry. I Happy Yom Kippur yesterday. Don't you mean Yom Kippur? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stupid. That's how I used to say it in Israel to piss everyone <laughs> Moses off. Moses told me I couldn't do any trolling TikToks on that day. He's like, this is a very serious holiday, so you should not be posting it. Oh, good job, Moses, one. because <laughs> it's getting out of control, and <laughs> someone needed to fucking rein this shit in, dude. Controlling Trump's yeah, you. Someone had to rein this shit in. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, but yeah, I was kind of surprised by that because I was like, I was, I was just like, we we always shit on each other's meal. That was it. They yeah. just. I say your guys' families, both of yours, are the only people that ever get like offended by stuff I say like that. Like, I was I very like... surprised. And it was it was only one member, it wasn't the other. Ooh. So anyway. I know who. I'm not gonna say it, but you I wanna know. guess? Definitely your mom. No, it wasn't. She didn't say hi to me when I walked in, so my mom my I've mom never likes come you. To another family my mom likes FYI. you. It was it was a lot. And I still feel a little PTSD from my tone. I can't do anymore. PTSD <laughs> from what? From I just think, being there? Yeah. Damn, you're sensitive. <laughs> Imagine if you actually went to war or something. <laughs> no. Anyways, um, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about um, Only fans? Your our collab. <sighs> Bro. Only I wouldn't do home. that for a billion fucking dollars. Like a showering video? You wouldn't just shower with me, like take a shower. You Nothing could, sexual. Not even for not even for ten million dollars. Could you imagine if we just stood next to each other and naked in the shower, just like doing a shower, like why do you hair? why do you think anyone would pay for that? They would. <laughs> and why? we could split it. We could split the money. You love money. We talk about this. You are driven by money. I don't love money that much. <laughs> you that, wouldn't do it. Not even comedy, aren't you? I swear to God, I, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it for any amount of money. 
But like Elon Moses could be there. If, so it's like not if weird. Jeff Bezos was like, I'm going to give you guys a billion dollars if you take a, a shower together. <laughs> You're such a I'd liar. I'd be like, fuck you, Jeff Bezos, you sick fuck. Don't you have a better use of your money? This time, There's starving kids and you're offering me a billion dollars. You would do it. Oh my God. You would do it now. I feel like you want to because I know like you always kind of inch towards wanting to do an OnlyFans. And so I feel like this is like your segue in. No? Well, I'm saying no. I'm flat out. I can't wait for our <clears throat> shoot this week. So so here's what happened with um <laughs> with with Ela's family and Moses' family. <laughs> so so Moses posted a picture on Instagram to his stories, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. of of him and you in lingerie. Mm -hmm. And I guess, well, he Moses hasn't, Moses, I don't know if they know what you do for a living. I don't or, think yet they have found yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> and so, and, and I don't think that Moses, and frankly, Moses has done a terrible job of explaining <laughs> his relationship as he always does. <laughs> I mean, he did it to to me and Ela. He didn't explain anything, and we're close with him. I don't know what he has to hide from us because we're not judgmental. <laughs> I don't think you guys are close as you think, but continue. Like, I don't think there's a closeness. There. Okay, go ahead and try to drive a wedge between me and my brother-in-law. You freak. <laughs> you know you're not close. I mean, we have a level of familiarity. For not, working on like the house and stuff, but not like, hey, like how's it going? Okay, like, whatever. I'm not yeah. even gonna argue the closeness <laughs> of my the, my relationship with you. Not obviously not with you. I mean, he, he hasn't put his dick in my butt, if that's what you mean. <laughs> so, sure, there's a different familiarity, of okay. course. Okay, anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, anyway, they saw this picture of Moses and you in lingerie, and they got super freaked out. And, you know, in Israel, it's like a different, it's like different. It's You know what I mean? Is it though? It is. We just watched Zohan last night, and the girls were all in half naked bikinis, like itsy bikinis. You know, bikinis. you know. Bro, they Zohan. were at the beginning in the Tel Aviv section. Dude, not even what, United I'm States speechless. Section. Zohan. He says it's accurate. I watch it with an Israeli. Zohan's accurate. What, what about Zohan is accurate? <laughs> Don't you say it is? You say it is. Anyways, you, he says it is. He's not. Uh, stop! Okay. Stop! Let me focus. So anyway, they saw the picture of the in the lingerie, and they got. I think one, they're offended. His family as a whole is offended that he's not telling them more. I get that, yeah. And the same, remember when me and Ela had a problem? All right. Okay, it was the same thing. Just we're like, what is happening? He doesn't say anything. And now all of a sudden they're taking photos. Mm -hmm. So that, so I don't think they're even mad at, I'll, I'll be honest, I talk to them. They have no problem with you. They Wait, like since you. Wait, the lingerie scandal? Yeah. Oh. They, they like you guys about it? Well, I'll, wow. give you, I'll give you the whole story. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Not I, getting to understand why he doesn't let like me his family. talk. Let me talk. Let I me get talk. why he's distancing himself from everybody. Stop. Before let me, talk. me, FYI. Stop. Let me talk. It's they're mad at Moses. They like you. They have no oh. problem with you. They're like, why isn't Moses telling us? Mm -hmm. It's the same problem me and Ela had, and so they have this genuine shock when they're like, their fear is that Moses will do a porno with you. Mm, and getting if, closer to that. And if he does that, I'm just saying it's been said that because because all of his extended family and they're all super conservative OG, you know what I'm saying. Like, right, for sure. My and, family is too, though. But no, 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 it's different. It's not. It, you don't know anything about Israel, even though you no. make a bunch of Jew videos and all this bullshit. <laughs> and just because you eat falafel doesn't mean you know anything about Israel. I speak Hebrew. <clears throat> no, you don't. A little bit. Okay, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> they are afraid if he does a porno. Like, like I, what? What? Shali? Tali? Did I say it right? No. <laughs> Please. <clears throat> Anyways, I said it good, did I? Thank you, babe. Okay, anyway. So, so are you listening to me? Yes. Okay. But I'm saying my family is also very conservative, you, you but they don't, don't have room stop. to be like, oh, what are you like? <clears throat> they're mad at him. Okay. But then hit like all the extended families. Now, like they saw the photo and they're <laughs> calling his family being like, what's going on? What is this? The photo, by the way, is me. I agree. And so when I heard, uh, I'll tell you what happened. So when I heard Ela, Ela recap the convo to me. <laughs> And then when I heard how they were reacting, I was like, oh, that seems like way they're they're I said, one, I don't think Moses is gonna do porno. He already said he's not, and I don't think he would. We do have a hidden folder on the phone. And two, <laughs> um 
I said, two, <laughs> I think they're overreacting. I think that I don't think the photo's that bad. But here's and my... so I got on the phone with them to try to calm them down. Oh, they were hysterical or what? Why are you calling No, they weren't hysterical, but I just wanted to I was I was speaking in your defense, frankly. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And I think I think it all stems from Moses not being open with his but family. Well, who cares if he does a porno? He's 42 years old. He's <clears throat> like, what the hell? Like, well, <laughs> I, well, you know, I I have the same opinion as you, but it's different there, which you don't understand. Okay, but apparently. why? This is why we're not all equal. Okay, why, why, why don't you just go to Okay, we're not if, judgmental if you, here. If you go this to Saudi like Arabia little, and they're in Israel and they just continue to be little and sh sheltered and stuff like that's why little. they're not evolving. What do you they're mean little? Evolving. They're little. It's only 7 million people. Like LA is bigger than that. Like what's up, you know? You don't know anything about but it's a small piece of land. I know where it is. I showed it to me on the map. Is that the first time you saw I mean, it that's on a map? Probably why he ran away at 17. There's a reason people leave Israel. They don't stay there. No offense to Israel. I do want to come well, to you, a, but Damn, did a flip flop on Israel real fast. <laughs> Mostly, just Moses' family that are judging me right now. The ones that are, the ones that are again, they're you. they're not. They're accepting of you. It's but just... if I want him to do a porno with me, that's what I do. Why can't he do that? Why is that wrong? Why is that bad? We all have sex. My parents know I do porno, so like, what? Like, they just I feel just like me? I feel like you that's are so not weird. working hard enough to empathize with his situation. It's you, you. Do you understand? Like, I do. No, you're not. You're saying, "Hey, America's this way, so the whole world should no, be this way." No, but he knew, and I said from the beginning, "I'm like, guess what? Families aren't comfortable with this." Like, my last relationship. You was can like, date and not make a porno with your spouse. But that's, that's what I possible. do. Okay, so, so okay, fine. That's Most what, is accepting of that, but you don't have to fuck him on camera. But what if he wants to do that? What if that's his choice? Well, then, oh, sure, he can, but he has to take in consideration other factors. Why? Why? Because th there's more to the world than the United States. Do you understand no, I'm that? Strictly his family. Why do you have to like live your life to like? Oh, but my family might think about this. Like live your life. Like Jesus. Like live your life. Like I just don't get that. Like yeah, my, my dad's so conservative. My dad's like a, he goes it's to mass every day, conservative. But like, and what? I know he's not it's happy different. with what I do. But it's my life. Okay, you know, you know Mia Khalifa. She's Lebanese. She follows me on TikTok. She's she Lebanese is a conservative country. Mm -hmm. Even though there's more conservative countries to be. Frank. And when she did porn, she got like death threats. People wanted to kill her. Okay. Okay. I'm just telling you, cultures are different. Israel's not Moses Lebanon. Isn't scared about that. No, people aren't going to try to kill him. But I'm just, I'm trying to explain what you're not I get getting. It, but we're in a very specific. It's me and him. It's not. We're not talking about Lebanon right now. You know, so you're, you're, Lebanon's I, not in my pussy. You know, it's one person. Like Jesus, it's not the country. Lebanon isn't in your pussy. <laughs> not at the moment. We could fit it in there. <laughs> I get a feeling. Um, um, anyway, but I feel like you are not, you are, you are being very selfish. I ask him all the time. I'm like, <clears throat> like, and I feel, and I'm just telling you that you're going to push him to the point either you're, because you're so persistent, you're so persistent and you're so uncaring about his situation. That's so not true. You're that so you're going to force him into the situation and you're going to ruin his oh. fucking life. Speaking of and by the way, Moses has a lot of profession. Like he's not a porn star like you. Okay. Okay. He he's a professional. He's not doing porn with me right now. He doesn't even want to shower but with me. I, I asked him if he showered. Like, he said no. So it's not even close. But to I being feel that. like you will just hammer on him no, until not. he breaks. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm honestly fine with it. Okay. <clears throat> so I know when then we'll move on from Moses and his family. Specifically, Ela texted him about something and said, "Is this true?" She, you guys, screenshot comments. <clears throat> what? What did she say? Random you can say what? Comments from these podcasts. You guys, screenshot and send to Moses. Is this true? Oh are you God, guys twelve? Why are you listening to anonymous commenters being like, "Oh, she's making Moses get rid of his cats," and you're like, "Oh my God, is this true?" I was like, "What the fuck?" Moses is forty two. He doesn't even like cats. Dude, he doesn't even want his cats because he's Calm like, down, they, they ruin his shit. Like the fact that you guys are Moses doesn't that. want his cats. Moses? In my living space. So he'll keep him at the museum and not the house. When I sleep and eat, I don't have animals. Thank you. Dude, but why it's, it's a non-issue. He's like, he's grown. You guys act like he's like a 12-year-old that doesn't know how to make a decision. No, because we're worried about you. You I mean, just said it wasn't about me. You said it's about him. No, someone said, so, we saw a comment that said, Trisha's making Moses get rid of his cat. <laughs> Do you think I have that power? What do you think I control him? Like that? Well, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. If that know. was the case, he'd be doing only fans like what the fuck like i don't control him like jesus like but like know. do you hear like dude i don't know okay you let's switch topics because like this is so it's just so annoying like i'm so over israelis and jewish i'm over it well, that was I'm fast. <laughs> just, so no more uh jewish food reviews no i'm over it 
I'm over it. I have a bunch of comments from on the Jewish food reviews I wanted to read you. No more. We're not talking no more about Jewish people. And you shot down my Halloween idea of dressing as our favorite Jewish person. I did it. God. You said, are you serious? Because it's, because it's, it's a little fucking like weird, don't you think? We're a celebrating. Well, okay. How about I was like, let's come dressed as our favorite black person. I mean, that's fucked up. It's no, weird. It's different because it's a culture. I thing. can't enable this weird behavior. I kind of get what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Saying. Wow. Thank you. For I do. Shout out point. though to Eugene Levy and Adam Sandler. I was gonna come dressed half and half as you because they're my favorite Jewish people. I love them. And Eugene Levy's a double Jew. How amazing is that? I didn't even know those existed. Like What's Ashikosh a double Jew? Win and the, the ones that like Ashikosh and like the other ones like the Middle Eastern. Ashikosh. The Europe- you know what I, yeah, Ashkenazi and Safari. I don't think that's a double Jew. That is. He has parents from, he's a European well, Jewish Theodore, and a Middle Eastern Well, Theodore's Jewish. a double Jew then. Oh, <gasps> lucky him. You're right. He's the yeah. chosen one. He is chosen. He's so much cuter than Go ahead. any baby I've seen. <laughs> he's cute. All right, we have to take a break and do our ad read. And hope. Yes. I think this, at least let's get paid once before. We break up. I need to recoup the money on this set. Oh, okay. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Free, free stuff. stuff this is su- this is stupid. I already don't like it. Free stuff is awesome. Let me do it. We were gonna do it awesome. in unison. Well, I was reading ahead to see what it said, but it just feels like too cutesy to do free it. Free stuff is awesome. But free stuff to spice up your bedroom is even better. better. <laughs> Select almost any one item for fifty percent off. That's five zero half fifty percent off, and then Adam and Eve loads on the free stuff. Tell them what else is free. Thank you for throwing it to me, Trisha. <laughs> Enter offer code H3 at checkout and get 10 tantalizing free gifts. 10 free gifts plus 50% off. That's insane because these toys are expensive and luxurious, but you're getting a discount. Mm. What code is it? H3. Uh, A sexy item for him. A special gift for her. And a third item. I didn't know we're having a threesome. (laughs) (laughs) A third item you'll both enjoy. Plus six free spicy movies. Third item you'll both enjoy. Oh, they have couples one where it kind of like stimulates him and like a cock ring that vibrates it stimulates both of you at the same time mm. we know that one hey i mean not you and me together but stop don't you can't go there <laughs> that's like one of the ground rules of the show we should do an only fan so we can promote adam and eve on there i already by using their toy and then at the end say get h3 50 percent off disgusting don't it's fucking horrible <laughs> six free spicy movies Ooh. That's free shipping. I wonder, do you get to decide, like, how do you know that the movies are you're sending are your genre? Because I feel like. I think there's a universal one. If Jen there, it's just, is in it, yeah, you know, yeah, you're It's just like the it. universal kind. They wouldn't send, like, dude shitting on a girl's <laughs> chest. I don't think you can do shit porn. I think that's like a thing. Like, you can't find it on Pornhub or anything. Dude, once I was in, um, <laughs> I was in Germany uh-huh. when I was 18, and we went into a porn shop in the red light district. And people always say, like, scheisse films, like a shit film, is it's like a German thing. Oh, yeah. And there were tons of shit porn. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing that You're really okay. interested me. They were marked up. The shit porns yeah. were more expensive. They were like 80 bucks. Yeah, because you can't find them in America. Like, you literally can't find them online. So I wonder if the girls get more for, part- for part- if everyone gets more for participating. No, they probably screw with the girls, too, in every country. Mm. Sad. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> uh, plus free shipping. Free shipping. That's H3. H3. Offer code H3 at checkout at adamandeve.com. And remember, guys, if you want more episodes of Frenemies, go to adamandeve.com and use code H3. Yeah, get the sex toys so we can keep coming back. That's the only way I'm going to continue to do this if you use the H3. And remember, I'm the one that's money focused. <laughs> I didn't say I wasn't. Okay. But shout out Adam Neve, adamneve.com, H3, 50% off. All right, wrap it up, wrap it up, movies, wrap it up. Plus the gifts for him, her, and the both to share. H3 at adamneve.com. Okay. And we're back. Welcome back to Frenemies. Oh, you, that was nice. You jumped in. You took the lead a little bit. I'm getting more comfortable. Like, it's That's my good. show, too. Yeah, it is your show. <laughs> you got the whole pink. I always thought we could do, like, daytime talk show, but then I'm like, <clears throat> we're both kind of, like, not that aesthetically pleasing to the eye, like, full I body. I know. You have like, to be. <laughs> like, skinny. That's true. Two fa- well, we could have a show and call it Two Fatties. <laughs> and the guests would feel so much more comfortable because they, they would look, like. Yeah, I think, I feel like you, you could, you could make a show like that. Two big fat. <laughs> Idiots, two could, big fat slobs. Could you imagine sitting on those stools like Ryan and Kelly? <laughs> a fairy, a fair, a fair. God, I'm so dyslexic. A hairy fat idiot and a gold and a goldfish shaped bimbo. Goldfish shaped. <laughs> or a goldfish bowl head, head shaped bimbo. Oh, because the head. Yeah. I guess I kind of do look like a piranha a little bit. Um, 
<laughs> I think that's iconic. I think that's isn't it funny though? Actually, you know what? The other day, Moses told me I wasn't fat. I'm just like obsessed with skinny people. I think, and I think that's how you are too. Are you like obsessed with people being skinny? Like every time I see someone, I'm like, oh, no, God, they're so skinny. No, no I think no. you are because you collab with a lot of like good looking guys, and I feel like there's like collab this, with good looking guys. <laughs> like what do on TikTok. Oh, I'm making fun of them. <laughs> but I think it's because you secretly like no, because they're fuck boys. Because I'm, I'm, I think obs- you want to do that. I think you wanted to be a, like a fuck I boy just, at one point. I, I, be, when be I was, honest, did you ever want to be like a good looking no, jock? I'll, t- I'll be honest. When I did water polo in high school, Ooh, hot. <clears throat> I was I, I got super jacked, and I'm not, and I look good. I had a tan and everything. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, there I got a lot of female attention at yeah. that point. And I quit doing water polo because it wasn't worth waking up at five a.m. I was like, "Fuck this! I'd rather be fat than wake you, up at five a.m." Do you still feel that way? I mean, I don't. No, I don't want to be chiseled. I just don't want to be like this i don't have tits right i don't think you do i saw you shirtless over there he was changing shirtless i was covering my body no, you but thank you but I you're, you're on tiktok showing it you don't seem self-conscious about your body no i'm not i'm not either isn't that funny how like chubby people <clears throat> don't care we're just like whatever i mean i don't think that's all chubby people but i think i think we just have can i ask you some questions I think it's freeing <laughs> what is this an interview i thought this was our thing <clears throat> okay. no i just well well do you want to talk about current events i switched to biden everybody i don't no longer support trump i had a video like years ago supporting trump before he even got the election oh really so we're back to biden i so. saw your whole hamilton biden like i was like thank god trisha <laughs> trisha endorsed biden <laughs> he's a shoe in for sure now <laughs> <clears throat> Do you think anyone cares that you endorse oh, Biden? Oh, what if I was like a plant, like I actually support Trump, and I'm like, ooh, let me plant, and be like, I go with Biden, and I was like, fuck no, not this bitch, like, and then they yeah, all like vote yeah. someone else, because they're like, not Biden, anyone but him, because Trisha supports him. Did you see The Rock's uh, endorsement of Biden? No. He, oh, you can you pull up a picture just so I, I'll show you on my phone. He was wearing, you can show this, you can edit this in right, Dan. He was wearing these, uh, the tightest shirt I've ever seen. He's got some juicy milkers, bro. Oh, he has titties too? So why do you care if you have boobs, if The Rock has boobs? The Rock. I like chest. I will grab Moses' tits all the time and he's like, what am I, a girl? I like grabbing them. I think they're just so fun, like grabbing guys' chest. Here, look at, look at so- his shirt. Oh, oh, he looks good. It's like the tightest shirt I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, there's something a little off about The I Rock could, to me. I feel like that would be tight on me. You should do a picture like that because that looks like your backyard. <laughs> Is he in your backyard? Like, literally, could you like a parody of, not a parody, but just do a recreation? This is like not even a human physique. He looks like a, Why don't he's you wearing a bodysuit. Do this and shave your head. Oh, that could be fun. And wear the glasses. I could be, Vin, I'd rather be Vin Diesel. Is that okay? Because we, we joke about Vin Diesel a lot on the I show. I don't even know who that is. Uh, yeah, you do. Vin Diesel, fast, fast, I mean, curious. he sounds familiar, but I couldn't like place a face to that. Here, this is so boring, but I'll show you. <laughs> Everyone's like, who cares? Vin Diesel. Mm hmm. What? What's he from? I know I've seen the him. Fast and Furious. Every fucking oh, Fast I've never and Furious seen those. movie. Okay, let me ask you questions. Okay, wait. Do you know your Halloween costume? Do you, are you planning yours? Or are you just gonna show up in like a party? No, we outfit? we agreed. I'll do I'll do the the collab with you. The collab. Oh, with the you. last one. But we're starting next week. The Halloween costumes. Is that what it already is? So what are you doing next week? I can't or? tell you now oh. because you're, you. We'll talk uh, off the show. I'll match you. I'm not. No, we're not matching anymore. That was too much pressure. Okay, who do you currently <laughs> hate on YouTube the most? Oh my God! Wait, what? Oh, um, easy. Who do I hate? Oh, <laughs> you're gonna get me in trouble. Hannah, it's Gabby Hannah. Hannah, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand this drama with you and Han- uh, she's Gabby like, Hannah. She's like irrelevant. So I don't even want to talk about her because she gets like no views. Like, what's even the point? We're like the two like losers that have been on YouTube for so long, just going at it and not getting views for drama. Why do you guys like, hate each other so much? I, I, the only reason I hate, well, the, I don't. The only reason I disliked her for the beginning was. She like wanted to be my friend. I finally had to tell her, "Hey, you told my boyfriend I had herpes when I didn't." She told Jason I had herpes like before I even really? knew her. And then he didn't want to like fuck me for a long time. And then he's like, "Oh, but Gabby said I was like what?" And then she said she told David and all these people. I was like, "Okay, she's weird." So I just kept my distance. Do you have her? You don't have herpes. I don't have herpes, and I would like first of all, she wouldn't know. I never was her friend. Then she tried to play it on like Shane telling her that I had herpes, which that's not true. But she tried to blame him because she's crazy. And then she started snowballing on drama alert. She goes, "I don't want drama on drama alert." Giving an interview about drama that happened nine months ago. And then she goes, then she says, "Trisha tried to." Call. He's like, "Did Trisha try to contact you?" Yeah a couple weeks ago this bitch is crazy i've never tried to contact her like she's actually crazy and i feel bad for her so honestly i don't want to even like lean on her because i think she does need some help because i went through a mental breakdown last year and i needed to get help and i think she does too and that's it but anyways I, i'll say i dislike her who do you hate you have to answer these questions too who do you dislike oh I, yeah obviously keemstar is like keemstar is the worst yeah he's the worst he might be worse than gabby because he's like even more pathetic like keemstar is actually the thing about keemstar is that he's actually just 
awful. Yeah, like I feel like like okay, so like even if like let's say Gabby Hannah, you guys have beef and stuff, and mm, yeah, I feel whatever. like it's snowballed. But like in a war in a normal world setting, I feel like I could be friends with her. She probably has some redeeming qualities. Definitely not. There's no one that's seen friends with her. Oh, oh, <laughs> Look okay. at all the all people right. she was all friends right. with. A bad like, example. She's like, the, but the I feel worst. like she's she's a human being. She must have no, some. No, she literally good... told Ela like, oh, like <laughs> Ethan, like try to like flirt with me. Like she told people that someone I know, like a mutual friend of ours that does YouTube. She like, her husband wanted me before you. I was like, wow, are you on crack, girl? Like, what are you talking about? But um, Keemstar is the worst privately. Like he'll text me. I'm like, hey, can you just like stop? Because I had oh, some yeah. anxiety. Yeah, can you tell me about? Uh, yeah, yeah he, he he would like private text me about the Gabby Hanna situation, and I was just like. And I was always cool with him up until this point. Like, even during your guys' beef, I thought it was funny because he would send me, like, merch. Like, he, and I liked him. He was cool. Like, I was, like, whatever with him. And then, like, all of a sudden, this, like, Gabby Hanna thing. He asked me for an interview the week before Gabby came on. I was like, no. Like, I have no drama. Like, why would I come on drama alert? There's nothing to talk about. But then second of all, so then he got Gabby, whatever. And then he was trying to get us to be, like, I don't know. He was trying to ask me, like, oh, well, what's your deal? And I was just like, can you just, like, drop it? I don't I don't want to be associated with her. Because she's, like, actually kind of, like, a, she's off. Mm. I'm off, too. I get help for it. I don't think she does. But I think it's different when you, like off your meds or something and so then so i told him i was like i just i really don't i really don't want to be associated with it because one it's not drama that's gonna get me views at all anyways not that i matter about that but two i literally was having so much anxiety that weekend like there was just a lot happening and because i do have i do have this guy this reoccurring like stalker at my house anyways it's not a big deal but whatever and so like people like jump my fence and i, I get triggered so i was already triggered that weekend and then that was happening it's like can you just like keep me out of drama and he's like no i will not and i'm like okay well i'm gonna block you and then he posted our conversations on twitter so then i unblock him i'm like hey can you like delete those like can you just like please leave me alone he's like i will not like he just kept going and hammering why won't you tell me i'm not gonna believe you until you show me police reports like it was just crazy and i was like who are you like why do i have to prove it and he was just the worst like privately he just like yeah. wouldn't let it go and i had to block him again <clears throat> yeah he that's his thing he god i feel like i'm talking like so slow now i'm sorry because we <laughs> you always put it off at an hour and i have so much to say and then no i, I feel off. that's that's his problem is that He's like when you talk to him, you have this expectation that you're talking to like a normal human being. Right. But he 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 really is he has there's something off because he he doesn't talk to you like a normal human yeah. being. He's always digging and digging and digging because he wants to produce content. And it's just it's, There's something sick about that though, because yeah. like even like I always said, like even off camera when we I truly didn't like you, like I feel like you were still nice to me off camera. Like you weren't like an asshole to me. Because yeah, I was thinking about that, how you know our relationship started from that one video. Yeah. But that's the thing, is because I you know, my intention was I, I felt bad that you felt bad and I wanted to um you know, I want I wanted to to not be rude to you, of course, if we yeah. talked off. But even like Ela was super nice. Like the first day, I, he made, I was he, mean to I was mean about her. I was mean about saying that she was like didn't stick up for herself and she is like a submissive. Yeah, like, but bitch, you know fine, what I mean. Yeah. By the way, when I say bitch, I mean it lovingly. People like I hate that she calls her a bitch. I say bitch to, like everyone. I say but the thing, like Kimstar made Ela cry once. Like when he uh, after he came on the podcast, and I was like, whatever. I know you got because everyone was mad at me, and I left this comment like, I know you guys hate him. I do too, but I think we should talk about him because he's an interesting guy. And then he lost his shit. And Ela and I was talk. I was trying to calm him down. I was like in the DMs with him, being like, "Dude, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I didn't mean it. Like, I hate you. It's just a figure of speech." And he was like fucking losing his mind. And then Ela tried to talk to him, and he was he 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 made her cry. He was so fucking rude what did and he relentless. Say? Honestly, it was years ago. I don't remember. Oh, just like words, just like nasty words. Yeah. I remember like this year he was like calling her like a horse or there was something with a horse. Oh, yeah. He, and I was like, yeah. to me, that's like so gross. And you did do that. I did fight back. I was like in his defense because I was like, you also made fun of girls' looks. But at the same, like it just like to me, that's well, gross. When, I like guess old so. men like make fun of people's looks, even if it's for comedy, whatever. I think it's just like a low blow. Like it's like well, that's what you're going to make fun of. Someone's like wife being ugly or something or whatever they think, you know. Well, I guess I, I have made fun of pe women's looks, but I think th this like that targeted thing of being like you're a horse. And then because then they like keep hammering it and like this like Leafy has it on a on a hoodie now. He made like a hoodie with a mm. horse. Yeah, like it's gross. It's ta I think it's nasty, but I think it's the same thing you did when you called Tana a Twinkie. And then I came on the podcast and you still were like, yeah, she looked like a Twinkie. Like it's still mean no matter mm. what, because clearly Ila doesn't look like a horse and Tana doesn't look like a Twinkie. And they know that they're pretty, so they don't care. But at the same time, it's still nasty. It's just like mm. you look gross. You just look. And I, I don't care if people have done it. People like, oh, people do that for comedy or whatever. It's like that's like a joke that we need. Uh, people evolve and like the world evolves. I think that needs to evolve to stop like bashing girls' looks as your no, thing. What? Like it's a low blow to be like Trisha's fat. Like that's all I hear is you're fat. Okay, if I lose weight then what are you gonna come for me for you know what i mean it's like who cares like that's all you can say about me I oh that fat like, bitch okay i feel like the twinkie comment was was i don't know why i thought that was is that not different than the horse comment no. i'm trying to rationalize it how your palm is tan bro <laughs> we said this in 
the car. I look like a little girl. You literally <laughs> palmed your tan. Your you tanned your palm. What happened there? A little spray tan. And I've been spray tanning so much lately because I had the music video. So I've been spray tanning. What? A lot. But how? What happened to your palm? <laughs> Were you just rubbing it all over your body? No, or something? I had someone spray it on me actually. Oh last my night. god, it really <laughs> stuck. But there, look the hell, you're in like black palm, black palm. Oh <laughs> <laughs> hmm. no, I can don't I know what can I call a girl Twinkie? I guess that was rude of me. Of course, some people think horses are beautiful, but the way you're Dude, saying some people things. fuck horses. And I, some people probably fuck Twinkies, but that doesn't mean you can call a girl that. You told me I look like a corpse in the video about me. Yeah. Well, you were laying in like a you were in a coffin. That one I feel like was fair game. My eyes were just closed. Yeah, it looked like you were in a coffin. I think that's funny. I did say you want a beach whale. I think I said it looked like she. I think it was about you that you. It looks like you just washed up on the beach. Yes, exactly. So don't rationalize that as you thought I was a beautiful mermaid. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. It no. was. It, but 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 like maybe does it get an exception for being exemption for being funny? funny? I think Keemstar thinks he's being funny. Right. Hmm. So. Hmm. Who did I pick on that battle when Keemstar and you guys were going at it? I think I picked Keemstar. I think I was, oh, yeah, that was the winner. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, you are such a fucking... Uh, yeah, I Ju truly hated you, huh? You're such like a Judas, how you flip-flop between camps. I'm sure you'll be friends with Keemstar in a month from now. Absolutely Being not. like, no. yeah, Ethan's fucking, I had used to go to his house, and you'll make start making up <laughs> no, shit. Like, no. and, when, and he put a camera in his bathroom, and he used to just call me ugly when I was house, and I'd be like, yeah, Keemstar, you're, you go. Ethan told me there's a camera in his bathroom, and I'm like, I wouldn't put it past you. I feel like you low-key are kind of pervy. She, she, Trisha goes, can I use the bathroom? I said, yeah, there's a camera in there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fine with me. I was kidding. You can post it on OnlyFans. <laughs> you do most of the leg work for this podcast, so I could do the most of the leg work for our OnlyFans collab. Dude, I'm it's not by you. The emails back and forth to get the sponsor. I was like, I was reading them. I was like, oh my god, okay, look at him just answering these emails so professionally. You guys were talking about like, I don't even know. It was like, oh, but this per this, and I don't even know. I don't even know the words. I was so confused what's happening. And then Thank you negotiated you. something amazing. I was like, oh wow. Thank you. Seriously, I was super impressed. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad. I didn't know it was you. I was like, is this him answering the email? It's me. It's all me. Hey, one man show. I'm not a one man show. I've got a. I couldn't ever do this alone. Dan's in the group chat. Shout out to Dan's girlfriend. So, uh, okay. I of us. Oh yeah, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. I do appreciate the, the clips you guys sent me, but you keep asking. People me really like the show, isn't it nice? Like the comments have been really nice. What? Yeah. It's been all good. Why do you have to spin everything? I feel like it's like, I love that Ethan just roast Trisha for an hour. By the way, that's not, that was like one comment out of many. <laughs> Most of them were like, I love their chemistry. This is so fun to yeah. watch. No, I, I dig it. I like the show. It's fun. Okay, whatever. Like, it's my one outing. I like get dressed up for you. I'm like, here we go. And then we go on a date on Monday nights. We always go out somewhere. So what about, um, oh, this is an interesting factoid. So when you had beef with, uh, yeah, those are pretty, you can show those. Diamond studded Crocs, bro. I wore silver ones last, ooh. And these are aftermarket, right? Yeah. <laughs> how much? So how, how much does it cost to get your Crocs studded? I think a hundred dollars blinged up. Hello. That's it. Yeah, I that's so. badass. Like I don't know, but um, I usually order like ten of them at a time. So she just did UGG boots for me for winter. So do you just like Crocs a lot, or do you think that's like just cool fashion? Yeah, I think since I got fatter, I can't wear heels, so I've been wearing like black. Damn, more. you know you're fu You know <laughs> when your feet start to get fat, you really fuck. It's more Knees, like put it's like balancing on heels when you're like 200 pounds is a lot. I know I need to lose weight. I was losing Woo. weight last week and then I started eating again. I don't know. I think you're. I think you made a good point though. I think you you said uh, you you know what? First of all, they can call it Elo horse. I just think, but I think you of made a good course. point. Like, I think you made a good point. I can't make fun of how women. I can't say, for example, that you look like you washed up on the beach. So yeah, you gotta take it. If someone says you look like I do take face. it though. I don't. I don't. No, not I do saying too, they can't and I'm sure she it. does too. And like it's, people are like, oh, well, she, she looks like she's not super. She's not offended by it. She just thinks it's pathetic. I agree. That's what I'm saying. It's like okay, so people could be like, Trisha looks like Chuck. I mean, I, I mean, clearly know like, I'm attractive, so I don't care. It doesn't yeah. matter. But I'm just saying, like, it's just gross. It's just like low. I'm like, that's I, all you got. You sound just stupid. You well, I agree. Like, I think when someone says that, it, it it makes them look worse than I think. You know, whatever. There's so many things to come for me for. Like, what being we Fat is like an obvious. Like, that's what you're gonna come for me for. Like there's just so many other things that's wrong with me. So you got in a <laughs> you got in a brief beef with Anthony Padilla. Is that how you say his I'll name? Talk him too. <laughs> and um, him. anyway, we talked about it, and 
we did a highlight and it was our most disliked highlight of all time. <laughs> what is people's up his he'll it'll come around there where people start disliking him too. It's always happens. Well, I feel like Anthony's thing is he's like mega woke. You know, he defended you when I made the Instagram <laughs> start. He's like, How dare you make fun of women's appearance? So he's like he's, he's mega, not woke. mega woke. Because he said Trisha doesn't have a mental illness. Can I say I've gone I have gone to three therapists since then that have diagnosed me with traits of Multiple personality disorder, which is DID. People are like, it's two different things. It's the fucking same Wait, thing. Wait, no, you don't. Multiple personality. Isn't that when you have like a different person in you? It's like super rare. If you're like, I'm not Trisha anymore. I'm Samantha. It's not that happens. I can describe it. Like when I, there is a switch in me, which anyone close to me, my family or a boyfriend have all seen it. My last boyfriend, my mm -hmm. current boyfriend. Like it's literally not me where I wake up the next morning. And I'm like, I literally don't remember. Like I literally don't. Like it's like this weird it is like a switch. People get offended. And I, I swear by it. People and but regardless, I have other mental Oh, that's for health, sure. Ill, I mean I, I but Anthony was trying to tell me he rolled his eyes. Okay, just trying to get on the mental health bandwagon. I'm like, mm, aren't you the mm. one who he always says, Anthony P will always be like, Oh, I'm like depressed. I'm like, you don't look depressed because that's what he told me. You don't look like you have a mental health illness. Oh, Anthony Padilla, you don't look like you're fucking depressed. You look happy with your girlfriend. Don't fucking talk about mental illness or that you're gonna be an advocate for mental health mm. people. Do you know what mm. I, mean? I hate people like that that try and tell me I don't have something? No, you definitely have something, trust me. <laughs> I had no I have but the thing Don't flip flop back and forth. Oh, Trisha's tr pretending to have a mental health illness reviews. Other you think she's sane? Breath. You think she's sane? I mean, good breath. luck arguing in that. The same breath to be like Trisha's just faking mental health illness. Like, what is it? But, uh, you can't but wasn't say I'm his crazy point? And not crazy. I think his point was, if I can mediate. Fuck Anthony Padilla. Because you made a video saying I am, or was it I have multiple personality disorder? Was that the video? Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, you don't. Because he's like, well, there's people who suffer from this. You don't necessarily have that diagnosed. So he felt like um, you were monetizing someone else's illness. I'll tell you what exactly happened. I watched his video. I was a fan. I watched his video on it. And I was like, and I made that video because I'm like, oh, this is probably what I have. Because I, I, I've gone to therapists. I've gone to psychi psychiatrists. I've been to mental health hospitals. I've been to like, I've been institutionalized not once, not twice, three times. That's something people don't know. I went to a mental hospital involuntarily three times. Oh, and, tell me about them. Um, the first time. I know the third time was because they thought you were suicidal from the no, Xanax. No, that's the first. I went twice after last oh, year. Oh, what the hell? Mm -hmm. That was a busy year. It was right after you made the video. Again, not to like put it on you, but it was like right after like that video was made. Like it was it was my birthday, May 8th. So I remember that. The first time was February of 2019. Then it was my birthday. And then I went again in August. But and, what happened? Tell me, detail each experience. I'm interested. Um, yeah, I mean, just. You're shy about it. <laughs> I don't really like talking about it because I don't like being judged for that because you know what? No matter what I say, people are like, she's a liar. I don't believe her. And it's like, I don't. I like, believe you. No, I know. But I just, uh, I don't like even talking about it because it's just like, it's just so traumatizing. Like each time you go, like the, the very first time I went was in front of like David and Jason and stuff. And it was like so traumatizing. So for them to just act like I don't even exist after like that really, like no one once checked up on me. Like after mm. that, like it was literally like so traumatizing. They like, literally mm. like take you back from the hospital, like strap you down, like put out of in your thing. Cause it was, it was fucking awful. So, and this, and the same time as my, my birthday too, I was, hmm. you know, I, I, that's why Jason finally blocked me. Cause I drove over to his house, like high MF. Hmm. They put me in the thing and, um, and I get it. I get it. He has kids and stuff. So it's like, I understand why he broke up with me, whatever, but people are so fucking annoying. And it's like to hear that shit, it's like so annoying. But anyways, your your problem is that you have these really traumatic experiences and mm -hmm. then when you try to talk about it people don't believe you so to say all that when i would go to the mental hospital obviously they let me out in 72 hours because i would be fine the next day mm -hmm. you know they put they i ran out of a hospital naked because i was not me i don't even know but they shot the out of van whatever Ugh, i would never do the stuff that i did and so i um so they never figured it out so back to the anthony padilla thing for on a real note i saw those videos and this was a time I was like really struggling, like February. It was over March. It was when I went on your guys' show. It was like the morning of. And I was like, oh, this makes sense. Like this is probably it because I really don't know like when someone, when this other person comes. I'm like, this makes sense. I wasn't diagnosed with it because I've gone to people and no one's told me that. They always tell me BPT. They told me bipolar or schizophrenia. They've never once said the thing, but I'm like, that makes sense. So I watched that video and I was like, this makes sense. And the first video I did was completely sincere. I literally mm -hmm. was like, this might be something that I have. It wasn't until I then that got triggered when Anthony's like, and his fucking dumbass girlfriend, Mike, you also dumb bitch saying I don't have fucking mental health illness, literally was watching it and rolled her eyes. They were like, oh my God, this is dumb. But that was such a sincere video. And that's when I fucking go on the troll. And I was like, fine, I'll fucking switch on camera. You want me to? 
oh, I'm fucking, where am I? Oh my God. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if that's what they want to see to prove, because that's what was happening on Anthony Padilla's thing is people just switching alters. And maybe that happens with people. I don't know. I'm not going to be like, yes or no, whatever. That's not for me to decide. But it's like, I switch, but I don't just all of a sudden become like, you know, a different, like, oh, I'm like a new, I'm a new person now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, that's not how it works with me, but there is something and people have seen it. Anyone close to me has fucking seen it. Well, Jason, Moses, anybody, my mom, my sister, they've seen it or I'm not, the, my, I'm not who I am. It's not, it's, it's scary. I think, I think it's, one thing I can definitely say is that you're impulsive. And so when you, I, I totally understand where you're like, oh, I saw this multiple personality video and you and you're like, oh my god, that sounds like what I have. Yeah. And then you go make a video about it. With you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're you're impulsive like that. But the they, transgender they, what, video, the same thing. Can I just say real quick? Sorry to cut you off, but real quick, the transgender video is the same thing. That weekend, I just got back from tour, and there was a boy who was transgender. I'm sorry, a girl who was transgender, male to female, and he looked like how a male would look. But he's like, I'm female. I just can't afford a denim skirt. Like, he, and he was telling me stuff and I was kind of like, you know, I related to that. And I, that's why I was making the video. I was like, maybe there's more people who feel this way, but they're not trans. Like, you know, they're not doing the transition. Of course, it was a mistake. I realize now, like, the severity of saying that. But the DI, the DID thing, like, that wasn't a mistake. I was just saying how I felt and how I related to that video. I wasn't like, oh, I, you know. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what the title was. Maybe it says, like, I have a, I don't know what the title was. And maybe that was a mistake. I don't fucking know. But, like, to, but to, to have the audacity to be like, this person doesn't have a mental health. And to attack someone for that. Let's say, let's say I didn't have it, but well, I have something I think, wrong with well, me. So I you're going to attack someone with a mental illness. I think his problem, I think his point of, I think the problem that you have is that you you are impulsive, and so you go and make videos without thinking about it, and then people start to disbelieve you, and they think you're like this drama machine, yeah. and that you make of these course. videos intentionally. And so, like, I get why he would think that. You know what I mean? Because it's get like it. every because like every week, you know, it's like I have um, transgender, I'm dis I have personality disorder, yeah. and so people start to think like. What is really going on here? I get it. She's I'm, just, she's, I'm not mad about it, but Anthony Padilla, of all people, Mr. Fucking Woke, if there's something wrong with someone, which there clearly is, let's say I am, let's say I'm a pathological liar and there's some fucking disorder where I'm just like always needing attention. Like I have something wrong with me. You don't fucking attack someone because something's wrong. How about get that person fucking help? How about butt out because there's probably other people helping. People don't know fucking shit when it comes to this stuff. Like people don't know shit. I do get help. And guess what? Sometimes doctors don't know. I've been to three mental hospitals, three different ones. They don't know fucking you shit. They talk let me about something happy is it a sponsor is that what we're going to or no no i was just maybe changing pace okay yeah what what are you enjoying in life lately oh um i don't know did you I lose weight for the beat did you did you lose weight for the beetlejuice well, thing yeah but also no because like Oh, it's so hard when you like are like I feel like when you're like in love like we just went home and he had a tombstone I'm like okay I have like a slice of tombstone you know what I mean tombstone so. <laughs> you guys can do better than that no we love a frozen pizza and I I was doing good I didn't eat dinner for like six nights all right let me read you some comments are these happy are we switching I'm not really that happy I feel like I'm going through a depressive episode right now but why I don't know it Sometimes happens. I'm just depressed for no reason. Like, literally no reason. Most people come home and I'll just be, like, sad. And for no reason. I have no idea. It's the worst. I mean, that's worse. I don't know. Oh, wow. These are brutal. Oh. Well, these, are, these are some of the comments from TikTok on your Jew uh, Oh, my videos. God. I thought we were talking about something happy. Well, I just had this prepared. So, I just. <laughs> so let's just keep... This one, I'm not going to. This one is really, I think, over the top. But I'll read it. They said, every time I leave my house, I have to hide my necklace so I don't become the victim of a hate crime. How dare you put one on just for fun oh my well the star God. i feel like the star dave is a bit much why well because you're supposed to wear it's like why why would i wear a cross i believe in the old testament I it's love not old testament but it's God. not like like the star david is not a fashion statement it's a it's, it's a, a it's a symbol of faith i believe in the old testament 100 i know all those stories I but if you it. believe okay whatever let's move on i'm not gonna also, ar i'm not gonna argue bi biblical studies with you <laughs> i'm trying i'm ready Someone says, I'm trying so hard not to First cyber. Of, that person needs to get the stick out of their fucking ass. It's a star of David. And you guys, like, you're really going to be, this is also what I hate about Christians and Jewish. And everyone, I'm Christian, I'm Jewish, I'm all of it. How about stop fucking judging, okay? Like, how about, like, stop judging people? Jesus, you're going to call yourself, like, oh, like, especially Jewish people. Y'all don't believe in hell. Where am I going? Why are you judging me? Like, you know what I mean? Like, Jesus, like, just we're all going to heaven, relax. Here's a good idea for your next fetish. Someone said, please don't become a hijab hijabi next i want thing that thing to stay sacred okay first of all yes i don't do that i wore a scarf in the convertible the other day and someone's like she has a hijab on it <laughs> a oh, scarf. Wow. this comment has fifty two thousand likes oh girl God. what are you on uh, which one which tiktok was it it doesn't say no <laughs> 
I'm usually on nothing. Trish Han, I think you just need to pick one culture and stick with it. I say fuck off because I can appreciate any culture I want to. Uh, she another one says we. Who is we? Because you are not Jewish. Who said that? On what one? You don't know where these are from. Well, what, what does it matter? I mean, you made a billion Jew videos. My boyfriend's Jewish. I can convert. Uh, so you're you're okay. Convert, and then you can say we. He's not Jewish. You seen though, the so Seinfeld about the Jew jokes? Huh? He's Jewish, of course he's, he's Jewish. Not. If you go, he's not Jewish. Okay, he maybe he doesn't, doesn't practice or pray. Yeah, but if you go to a rabbi, he'll say, yeah, of course he's Jewish. All right, let's go to a rabbi, babe. So I can you convert. can get converted, but it's not easy. You can't just convert. You got to study. I can yeah, you would never, you would never go through. I'm with that. down to convert, to be honest, but he doesn't care sis about that. Did not, the, sis did not just say yeah. we're no longer in 2020, girl. We haven't been in 2020 for over 3,000 years. We're going into 5,781. Okay, okay, Jewish humor. <laughs> like what? The name is George Washington's tampons. That was the user. George Washington's tampons. Not sure I get that. I don't reference. get it either, but we support Hamilton. We just, mm. that's all I've got. That's it? Yeah. I thought Those I would have bad. more. No, they weren't. I feel like people come around to me, you know, they kind of think I have, like, I feel like at first I'm a little shocking, but they know my intentions are good. I truly do love, like, the Jewish culture. I like learning about the Old Testament. It's fun. I think you're a good person. I just think you're, I think you're, I think you're genuinely, and I mean this with peace and love, crazy. Sure. And and I think sure. your your life is is a is an internal battle between, mm -hmm. between trying to stay on the rails as much as possible. I try. The while, rails. while being just totally off the rails by nature. Right. But you also played up because you fetishize or not fetishize, but you your role models are people like Marilyn Monroe and and uh, uh, what's that other girl's Anna. name? Anna Nicole Love Smith. Anna Nicole. And so these are people who are notoriously mm. a mess. I think I'm like, yeah. So so yeah. so you like being a mess. I don't like it. It's just like what I have and I'm rolling with it. You know, like I can't really like this is me. Mm. It's kind of like, like you said, at some point you just accept, like, it's kind of like going back to, like, the crazy I accept, the fat I accept. It's like, oh, I'm just kind of fat at this point. Why am I trying to diet? You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of mm. just this person now. And that's fine. I'm body positive model. So I'm like, just look good. So you still like Moses? Love Moses. Good, 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 He's good, 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 good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, he's the, he's literally the best, most patient person in the whole world. He's very patient. That's for so sure. So patient. Like never gets mad. And I think that's exactly what you need. I was roasting him on Saturday. He's like, what is it? You the need roast of Moses Day? I kept coming for him. And you know what he did? I was being so mean all morning because the fucking COVID testing and all your guys' text messages. Dude, you're so <laughs> annoying. The conversations were so unhostile. I literally just said, okay, do you uh, mind? I said, do you, do you mind getting a COVID test before Monday? Comment. And you said, sure, no problem. And I was like, wow, she was. And I was like, wow, I was. I wasn't sure how she would take that, but she was super cool. And yeah. then when I get here, you're like, the fucking COVID test ruined my whole fucking day. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. Did. But at the same time, it was like the cat comment and like all these other things. By the way, the we had her get a thing. COVID test because she was off doing some that crazy <laughs> Beetlejuice <laughs> concert with like a hundred people. Which, by the way, first of all. 30. Every single person got tested. We had to get a COVID nurse on site. Why are you obsessed with Beetlejuice anyway? It's just so odd. I love Beetlejuice. I do Why? love Beetlejuice. Um, I don't know. Why is I don't know. I just like the aesthetic of it. I like the music. I like everything. Mm. I like the characters. I love Michael Keaton. You like Keaton. Michael Keaton? Can we get Michael Keaton? Okay, on the podcast, can I manifest Michael Keaton, Eugene Levy, Adam Sandler, and Sasha Baron Cohen? Those will, none of those will ever happen. Your manifestation. What if Adam Sandler comes on the podcast? <laughs> Why would he? Hey, guys, I'm Adam Sandler. <laughs> We just sit on this stupid fucking shit tier podcast. What? First of all, this is a nice podcast. I'm manifesting that. This this is not an Adam Sandler tier podcast. I feel like it's totally like Bill Murray does those weird ass podcasts all the time. Like there's like random people. I got Brett Michaels on my podcast. <laughs> I love this is him. not a Bill Murray level podcast. Oh no, Bill Murray would do it. He used to be my neighbor for real. Okay, get him. We on. were in a lawsuit together. Well, him and my dad were in a lawsuit together. <laughs> really? Yeah. Suing together? Yeah. Oh, we that's were suing awesome. A neighbor. Yeah, it was crazy. Why? Our neighbors. Um. I actually, I think the neighbor was suing them because the like their property. He was trying to get their property or something because they were doing like they were hosting parties or something. Mm. It was something like weird. Like it was. I'd love stuff. to be in a lawsuit with Bill Murray. Yeah, it's everything. He's going to my church. Um, in, he sued Syria. your church. No, he used to go to my church and I'd see uh, him and he'd be by himself. Oh, and then oh. I'm like, hey, what's up? He's Catholic. He's a super big Catholic. Oh, wow. Um, so maybe we'll get him on the podcast. Or Steve Martin. Okay. I made King Tut viral again. Steve Martin, if you want to come on the podcast, please come back. Come on. I love Steve Martin. Those are my people. Like, I love, like, Bill Murray, Steve Martin. I sat next to Martin Short on a plane one time for his class. And I was with my boyfriend at the time. And I ditched my boyfriend because I was like, oh, wait, I want to sit next to Martin Short. Because he's going to ask him to switch seats. I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to sit I next to like Martin I could. I feel like at a certain point, I could just stand in the corner. And you Sorry. wouldn't even notice. <laughs> I just have so much to say. And I feel like 
feel like we cut it off so quickly and like I just feel like we have a lot to say. Anyways, I forgot to say my story about my sweet Moses because on Saturday I was being a bitch. Like I was just being a bitch for no reason. I don't even know why. I was like, I hate driving. Well, that I did say I hate driving to get in with Peta's cats because that was annoying that day. But because we had to go to North, we had to go to North Virginia, we had to go to where he lived. It was like, and then we had to go to the beach. We're going all over the place. Oh and God. so, but guess what he did? He bought me a diamond necklace. I was like, you had a necklace. I don't have it on today because it didn't really You go bought her a in. diamond necklace, Moses? Okay, can I just say I was the gonna fuck? buy it myself? And then I went to go like, I don't know what I was doing. How much was it? How much you drop on that? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hand of God. Oh, he got you the Hamsa. Yeah, isn't that nice? But I wanted one anyways, and I was gonna buy it for myself. I, I would never ask. I would. I don't like people paying for stuff. It makes me feel uncomfortable. But one, he's not. I never paid when we on a date. He pays every single time we go out on a date. Two, he got me this diamond necklace, and I was gonna pay for it myself because I like it. And then all of a sudden, he like gives me. You know what the Hamsa means? He probably explained. Yes, it. yes, of course. Haters, haters talk to the hand, basically. Oh <laughs> well, yes, the protection. We got. We we like did the whole like research on it. It was and it's beautiful. I I will wear it, but I have costumes so. Um, it's it's gorgeous. It's my favorite thing. It's like so neat. What are you gonna tell me? I can't wear that. Someone did tell me that no, on TikTok. No, you someone can wear did. hamsa. No, someone's like stop wearing those Jewish. Because I think I think um, Muslims also wear hamsas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's all faiths. It star of David, you shouldn't wear a star of David. If my oh. my future husband's Jewish, you just yeah. Moses is saying no star of David. Oh, she should wear. Thank oh, you, you should wear a star of David according to Moses. No wonder, yeah. dude. You can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're saying only Jews should wear a star of David. That's the Holocaust. Thank you. What? <laughs> Dude, that is such a fucking stretch. Moses. That is the Holocaust. <laughs> that is so stupid. Thanks, babe. No, it's like saying I'm going around wearing a cross because I think it's fashionable. I don't think it's fashionable. Thank you, babe. And also, I don't think it's fashionable. I do wear it in honor of my boyfriend. He doesn't really like love the Judaism, but I love it. Trust me, I'm not the only one that thinks it's odd. Okay, well, I think if you want, if you want to wear, walk around with a Jewish flair, Moses, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> I personally don't think it's the same thing. Anyways, thank you for the diamond necklace. I'm sorry I was a bitch. He was being so nice the whole time. He was being so sweet. So, well, I still support you guys. Of course, we're gonna but be once I see Moses in the shower, we're gonna have problems. For showering with me? <laughs> I'm just saying his. Fi- I'm. I'm just pro- warning Ooh, you. Say I, that because he's I, gonna do it more. He'll I'm just like, warning you guys that if Moses. Crosses the line of the OnlyFans, he will turn. You will fucking ruin. You will fuck his life up so bad, and then when when you guys break up inevitably, sorry, he you're gonna have a hard fucking time, bro, picking up the pieces. Can we just say we're never gonna break up? Because there are so many times we should have so, broken up. So this is my this is my dude. You've been dating not that long to be like we should have broken up so many times. Do you <laughs> see the warning signs? <laughs> I'm just saying, Moses, just be careful. Just be smart. I know she's pers- she's persistent. Let's not see your dick on Uh-oh. camera. Th- well, we have something planned for Thursday. So. Let's not see your dick on camera. We already have something planned for Thursday that's going on on my OnlyFans. So as long that's me. Not- yes, you're in it. You're getting. You're in it. Not naked. Okay. You're in it, but not naked. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You'll see it. I'll show it to you next week. I'll have the picture. Uh, uh, are you gonna like jerk off on his picture or something? No, Squirt- he's in it with me. He's gonna be in it with me the pictures we have like a photographer coming and stuff he's in it with oh me. you're just doing a photo shoot no it's a whole thing anyways whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Well, what is it we'll see if it happens maybe it won't even happen we'll just see what happens you're doing a photo shoot how about you doing a shower thing with me you're thinking why your family, you think your family will also disown you well i think a lot of people would be really fucking confused oh, there are people who my are- wife chief chief <laughs> so among them be there trust me i don't want to shower with you but that's like if they're there it's like not as weird i really don't want to shower <laughs> I no. really, really don't want to shower with you. I would rather, I would rather, I would rather drag my dick through a field of glass. Also, can I ask why you always wear Teddy Fresh on our podcast? It's not I always wear. It. By Teddy I Fresh. wear it in literally everywhere and everything. Was it's all I wear. this podcast? No, that's my, what do I gotta wear? Yeah, I'm gonna I gotta bring. Fine, I'm gonna wear my logo onlytrish.com next time. I'm gonna just advertise my. You know, business. I wear Teddy Fresh and every fucking everything I do. Okay, but if you go on TV, you're not gonna be able to wear Teddy Fresh. So this why? Like, because why? Because I don't have clearance brand. from my own fucking company. No, the the TV show. I don't have promoting. clearance from my own company. They do it for clearance, not no. No, no sometimes they don't. Because I used to have my logo. Wow, I've never were. seen a brand on TV. I've never seen a brand. I'm telling you, when I've done reality shows like Celebrity Big Brother, they wouldn't let me wear my own shit. Like I had, it was my own fucking like logo and stuff, and they wouldn't let me wear it. Probably because they're, probably because it's they're it's tacky and they didn't and it looked like garbage. Oh, and a giant Teddy Fresh on your chest isn't tacky. I think it looks fantastic. I mean, that's not the best shirt you've had. Like you have cute stuff, but that's not it. Well, it's different. It's like it's a different thing. It's like a there's like industry where there's like the mega branding. So that's what this is. 
But the the application's nice. It's like puffy paint. Can I feel? Yeah. Mm, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I believe you. Also, James Charles is fucking annoying on TikTok. I'm not going to lie. Like, aside from your beef, my sister sent me this one. Have you seen of him singing? Oh, I love that video. Oh, my God. It's, it's I so can't, weird. But it's, like, weirdly mesmerizing. Oh, the one where right. he did He's the... Like, I like your getchy shoes. <laughs> no. You like my sketchers. Not that one? No, it's the one where he's like... But do you know that one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my sister I, me. I, I'm obsessed with that video. It's just so bizarre. Do you have him on the podcast? Like, low-key, I feel like he'd come on. He would never. He hates my guts. I feel like James Charles low-key likes me. Well, like, he, he doesn't like me. Jeffrey I'll tell you that. Me. He unfollowed me after the beef. Ooh. We used to follow you. You went following me. Yeah, because I don't want to see your fucking vagina. Ever. If you want to see my vagina, it's on Twitter at Chichapetas. It's like, it's too much. I can't believe, I want to know what family member of yours hates me now. Who said that? Your Nobody. Dad? No, they were mad at me because I was like, no, it's not my, my dad doesn't care about anything. Oh my God. Oh, I know. Oh, wow. Mm. Unexpecting, but, but expecting. Mad at me mm -hmm. because they're like, I, we spent all this time and you just trapped. I was like, I was, I mean, I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I feel bad. I don't know why you're, we always. That's so funny. But my, you know what I, I really wanted to say is just like, well, just don't watch the podcast because like, I'm going to talk about everything. Uh, my parents don't watch my stuff because of that. Like, yeah. Like I, I've, it. I've trashed my parents and they've, they've never said anything and I know they watch <laughs> and like, and I just, I respect. First of all, I love my parents and I respect so much that they give me the space to do my thing. And they never tried to intervene and be like, you know, what you said really hurt my feelings. Right. And so I think it's really cool that they let me, you know, come here and speak my mind and, and be and be true to myself when I'm on here. Yeah, so I, will, I, would, I, would, I would. Exactly. I have to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would just, you know, say don't watch. But I didn't say that. But now well, you should. I did. Don't watch. I'm never coming to another dinner again, which is totally fine, actually. You're uninvited. Good. My family, honestly, it made me appreciate my family so much more. This family issues with both of your family. I'm like, wow, my family's cool as fuck. I used to think they were like tightly wound, but I'm like, no, they're cool. Well, you probably, you, you like put them through the ringer early on. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. They know. They're just happy that you're like, well, you're pretty successful. I mean, shit. It's pretty, it's pretty yeah. great. And now I have Moses to like parade around because my dad loves Israel. Like he's very Christian. And so he goes over there and looks at all the Jesus stuff. Like he's been over there multiple times. So like now I have like my good Israeli boyfriend who's like knows a lot about the Bible. Who's also kind of like a Jesus lover, you know, like all of that. So it's kind of nice. They talk How do about, you feel about in that? Israel. Do you ever feel fetishized by her, Moses? Thank you, babe. I don't. I love him for him. It's not like I'm like, ooh, babe, put on a yarmulke. Like, let me get wet right now. Like, that's not it. Put on a Talmud and fuck me. <laughs> she would do that. What's a Talmud? Oh, it's like the the thing you wear around your shoulder. Oh, yeah. We got one for my dog yesterday. We put him in a yarmulke. That sounds respectful. <laughs> <laughs> I post. Huh? There's zero Judaism in my life without her. Right, she, exactly. Right, okay. You're welcome. I'm bringing it back. <gasps> I just kicked your dog. I'm so fucking sorry. Holy shit. He doesn't care. He didn't move at all. Oh, he looks like Toto. He's so cute. He's such a good Your dog's boy. pretty cute. My dog is a little cuter, but. <sighs> this show is over. <laughs> like indefinitely or just today? Now we have beef because you insulted my dog. Next, next All right, well, we're coming, we're coming. We're coming to an end here. What else? Next week. So okay, I have a that. costume. We're not coordinating anymore. That's so not the is window. It, is it, what's today? Is it almost October already? It's October 1st on Thursday. So October 5th wow, will be next week. Wow, that's crazy. I have a costume. I will come in costume. So don't be like shocked. I'm coming in costume. No, it's going to be fun. I'm, okay. I'm genuinely excited. Okay. I'm not going to go. I'll just warn you right now. I'm not going to go in as hard as you do. I start slow. I'm going to build up. You are? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm probably just going to buy some shit on Amazon. And be like, hey, I'm Mario or something. <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, I mean, come up with like a story behind what you want to be, but yeah, I'll come so. though because like Ela's a designer. Why wouldn't she like? She should make you something like. Well, it takes time to design to make clothing. You know that. Of course, I get all my clothes custom made. Takes like a year. Oh, like a whole like line, right? Yeah. Okay. But I'm excited. Can't wait. Halloween. Can't wait. <laughs> Halloween. What else? Anything else you want to touch on before we wrap it up? Um. No, I guess just I like sketchers. I like Gucci shoes. I wish I could play that for everyone. You can't? Is it like copyright by him? Well, it's a song. Maybe oh, I could just play that down. sound bite. Have you ever, just real quick, because you never really, we never really went into it, because I really do just want to know. Have you ever, like, thought you were gay? You asked me that last time. Why do you keep asking oh, me that? Oh, I did. What was your answer? Do you ask everybody I that? I forgot that. I said no. I think because of the gay dreams. You never were like, 
Oh, so you it. think you're having dreams about me fucking dudes, it's, and it's somehow my fault. It's not your fault, but I, I just, I want to well, know. I ask everybody honestly. No, you, have, you never no. had a gay experience? No. You never I have, kissed a guy? I've never had a gay experience. I mean, like. Crush? Did you ever have a crush on a guy? No. Wow. I've not had a gay experience. Who's your dream girl besides Ela? My dream girl? Like growing up, did you have a, somebody that you were just like, oh, you know, like jerk off to? I mean, I mostly, yeah, I was mostly like girls at my school that I liked. Not oh, like models and stuff. Really? Yeah, I didn't really <laughs> have celebrity crushes. Wait, really? So who was the girl at your school? What'd she look like? The girl that I was in love with when I was like in elementary school mm -hmm. and she was, had like red hair. Which was weird because oh. I'm not generally attracted. But she was really big beautiful. Tits. No, 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 not at all. Really, redheads usually have giant boobs. No, she was. She wasn't. She 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 was uh, slender. You like skinny? See, I think you're obsessed with skinny people too. I am too. Everybody I've dated. I'm not skinny. obsessed with skinny people. <laughs> just Ela's very thin. She's very thin. Your crush, mine too. Every guy yeah, has been. Skinny. No, I think I. I think I'm. I love a skinny guy. I think because we're chubby, so we like like well, to look at a skinny body because <laughs> we're not that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I haven't analyzed it too deeply, but like, yeah, I guess I, yeah, I probably, I probably do have a preference for people who aren't obese. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? I mean, not obese. I'm, I'm joking. Um, you know what? I will say I'd go either way. I either want someone to be really skinny, like everyone is like really skinny, or I'd rather just be with a really obese person, I think. Just go crazy. Yeah. Like, I just like Just like, extremes. let's fucking kill ourselves with Wendy's. Okay. Well, I don't want to, I, the health part aside, I don't mind, uh, because like after this show, I always go get fast food. And like the last time I went to Burger King, there was this really <laughs> obese guy. And like, I'm not even being funny at all. Like, I literally was like, I bet he like fucks really good. Like that was my first thought. Is like because How, the way he what? was move walking in, he was like he was like sl he was like slithering in, and I was like, How do fat guys fuck good? I don't know. I've never been with someone like I've never been with someone. I think that's my own insecurity. I think their mo I think their mobility is very limited. I don't know. I'm fat and I like fuck. I can like I can be on and ride all the time. You know, like I like I'm pretty agile. I'm pretty athletic all of a sudden. Like in the bedroom, I'm like oh, I'm like I'm like getting a workout. Yeah, but you probably just move your weight around. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Move my weight around. Well, because like you can just move your weight around and shit. <laughs> and not, not necessarily like lift yourself up. Oh no, I lift myself. Oh, I totally lift myself for sure. That's like the whole point of having big boobs, so you like bounce up and down. But. One day Moses did say our bellies rubbed together. <laughs> He's like, oh, it hurt because your belly rubbed against mine. I'm like, oh, my belly rubbed against you during sex. Wait, he said it was painful? Yes. He said it was painful. <laughs> oh, my God. There was too much pressure on your poor body. <laughs> Crazy. He's like, oh, my God, your belly rubbing my belly. He was like, I'm, I'm being <laughs> smashed. He does love to be suffocated, but it's mostly by my boobs. It's not like one time I sat on really? his face, but it was when we were like when we were like high or something. But that was the only it. But one day I thought it was good. You suffocate him with your <laughs> Yes, always. Just like <laughs> Nasty. He said he's never with someone with as big as boobs as mine. So. Moses is saying, No, <laughs> don't go here. You like big boobs. Moses is doing this off camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Well, anyways, I'm That's, glad. See, Moses comes here in chaperones because <laughs> <laughs> because this affects his life so much because of his family watching. But it doesn't. You gotta, he doesn't care. Like maybe. Oh, he cares. Say, you should have seen his ass <laughs> doing this. No, not about the family. I'll say on a <coughs> final note on that situation with the families in general, just families in general, maybe reevaluate why the person in your family isn't telling you everything. Maybe maybe you're judgmental. Maybe there's something in you I that think they don't it's feel a comfortable two, with. We, two roads. I think you're being defensive of your boyfriend, I'm which not is being sweet. I'm just saying. But I do think that Moses has some kind of problem communicating things. But and, why? And obviously I know he has his reasons, but I'm just saying. Right. Because I'm just saying it's a two-way street. Your family's judgmental. His family's judgmental. So there's okay, a reason. Okay, fine. But like you still have so, to live in, and you still have to. I feel like that's a two-way street. And you got to meet in the middle. And they're not mad at you. They're mad at Moses. Perfect. Just kidding. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you at the wedding. I just hope when you guys break up, you haven't ruined his life. We're not breaking up at all, ever. Because I feel like that's what you're working towards. No, if anything, I've helped him. If we break up, like, girls will probably hit him up. Like, his, even, but this, his life it does, does revolve. not he is, revolve. He's more girl crazy than you think. Okay, fine. But, like, I don't think he... He's very sex-driven, if that's what you're saying. 
Okay, fine. In general, like more than you think. He says he's not, but he is. A well, bit. whatever. Who cares? Why are you shame? Why are you kink shaming your boyfriend? I'm not. I'm sex driven too. I told him that. I was like, I feel like when we don't have sex, like when I'm on my period, we do have sex on my period, but it's mostly in the water. But I'm just saying, like when we don't have sex, it's close. Like, what, have water? Sex. what water? What water? Every water, the shower, it, jacuzzi, bathtub. You have period blood in your jacuzzi? No, when I'm on my period, you get in the jacuzzi because it doesn't go. Your period doesn't flow when you're inside of water. I don't know why that is. What? That can't be true. It's true. In the shower, you don't bleed down or anything. How do you not? How do you not know this? You've been married. I feel like that's forever. not a science. I feel like that you're bleeding in your jacuzzi. Can I tell you why Moses knows? And I'll tell you why. Because he said it's because like back in the day, like when you'd be like swimming in the ocean or the lakes or something like that, your your vagina like dries up to block anything from coming in. So it kind of like it like dries up so nothing comes out. So it like blocks like little pesticides from coming into your vagina. You? How do you know that? What? Is that true, I think Moses? It's a theory. It's a theory. Okay, got it. We have to distinguish distinguish between theory and, okay, I said and I fact said I here theory. on this show. I said he had a, I, okay, we I'm take the truth very seriously on this show. Do we? Yes. And then, and then, how many times a day do you guys have sex? I'm curious. Oh my god, we were just talking about this the other day. Like we used to have sex like all the time, but now it's just like morning and night. What do you mean? Oh, I mean two times a day is a, is probably more than I would be wanting to have. Um, it depends though too. Like, oh, like when we fight, like the next day we'll have sex like four times throughout the day. Like for some reason we get super horny. I mean, the problem is like who has time to have sex four times in a day? Well, when you fight. That's like fucking like you got to do something else with your time. We were just like laying around and then that, but when you fight and you, we didn't have sex for like two days. We're like, okay, so four days, four times. That's always so much fun. Cause then you're just on the couch, like let's have sex. During quarantine, it was like a lot, like six or seven. But now it's like six. That's like all you're doing. Don't, is there anything else to do? Six or seven? Especially like okay, after the necklace too, I was just like so horny. I was like, oh my god, I need to like blow you right now. It's like it's just you get like so sexual when someone buys you things. No one ever bought me anything. So then when I was like, oh my god, so then we definitely nobody ever buys things. Yeah. Or dinner, we always fuck after dinner. Like if we go out to, on a date, and then like, <laughs> like Chick Fil A or like a nice dinner. <laughs> no, a nice meal, oh. or like in the middle of the night. I we love I one. I'll, I'll just say it real quick, and then we'll wrap it up. But one time. <laughs> And I can, we give full permission, like, dur- if, like during sleeping time, like I love being woken up, which is like a dick in me. So one time, like my ass is like out of the bed, and all of a sudden he's like start having sex. It's so fun, but I I like that, and I tell okay, him. Okay, yeah, more. you give him you give him permission, so there's no he, violation. Then he goes there. bad after. He'll be like, "Are you sure?" I'm like, "No, don't say are you sure," because I like that. I like and sometimes in the middle of the night we just have sex like randomly, like so it depends. Sometimes when we're sleeping, sometimes when we're awake, it just like kind of depends. Are you exci- are you excited about the presidential debate tomorrow? And after a shower, we always have sex because we're clean, huh? Oh my god. We're way over. Presidential debate tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm down. I'm ready for it. Great. Great. I was on Larry King one time talking about the presidential debate. Larry King? What the fuck would he ask you? Look it up. It was on the Oracle channel or something like that. Fucking Trisha Paytas (laughs) ex Larry King. Yeah, when Mitt Romney was running, I was on after the debates and he would like interview me and the young Turks had me on. Yeah, I can talk about it. For (laughs) commentary? Dude, you're straight up like Ja Rule from the Chappelle show. (laughs) Wait, what? Let's see what Trisha Paytas (laughs) has to say about this. No, it's online still. Like, look up the. All right, I need I, I, I need your political commentary for next week after the debate. So watch it tomorrow. <laughs> I, okay, I, I mean I will for or sure. Or tonight, yeah. Okay. Always. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. We're way over. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, thank you for your support, and thank you to our sponsor, of course, because you know if I don't think if we make money, I think Trisha's not gonna have any motivation to do this. No, so. I just like to be around you. Like I like the Jew energy in here. Oh God, just wrap it up. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Did you? Yeah.